Hey Java coders, in this video what we're going to take a look at is working with projects involved multiple JFrames and how to pass data forwards and backwards. Now we looked at how to pass data from one frame into a new frame in the last video. In this video we're going to look at how do you pop up a new frame that lets the user do something like let's say select a new month like June and submit it back and then it pops back. Uh, so we pop it open, we select a month, submit and somehow that data comes back. This is slightly more work than passing data forward to a new frame. Let's take a look at how it's done. So here's the main frame, the one we started with. This is the one that just says, hey, select a month, right? And so what I'm gonna do here is I have a variable that is public, string month, not available right now, okay? And basically when I hit the button for select month, I make a month picker which is another frame that lets them pick the month, and I set it visible. Okay, so there's month picker. Now, month picker is the secret here. So let's take a look at this one. This is what it looks like, a little drop down where you can pick your month and then you can submit or cancel. So let's take a look at the important piece of the code here. So the first thing you're gonna see here at the very top is this is an important idea. It's this frame has a reference variable of type mainframe. Now remember what mainframe is. That's my original frame, right? That's the mainframe that we start on. So by making a variable, and I've called it owner, when the mainframe I start with says, hey, open up the month picker frame, this frame will open up and somehow I have to let this frame know about its owner, have a reference to it. That way when it comes time to send back information, this frame knows the memory address of the mainframe and can send or call methods right to pass the information back to it. So here's how we set it up. You give this frame the variable mainframe right back to the original class that we started with and you're gonna notice the constructor I've changed it a bit. Instead of it just being month picker totally empty when I make a month picker now it has to know a mainframe okay which will be known as MF. So that's the only way to make a month picker. Notice here in my main frame when I made the month picker. Month picker MP is a new month picker, this. Okay, remember what this refers to the memory address of this frame running the code. And so that's passed into the constructor of month picker. So month picker starts up, its constructor starts. I've given it the memory address of my main frame and then owner right up here is set to that memory address this month picker window that just opened up now knows the memory address of the frame that made it this is a very important idea in a lot of this multi-frame uh, project stuff so I also do the centering code and the default close right so it closes when you click X now how do we actually get the info back well that's here in my submit button it doesn't matter how you're getting the info. I use the combo box. If you don't know how to use that, who cares? Uh, maybe you're using text boxes or buttons, whatever it is. You've got some information. My information is string M, okay? The month that they've picked out of the box. I'm going to show you two ways, okay, to send the information back here. One way is not so good. One way is much better. Here's the not so good way. Since you know the reference of the window that made you, we can just do this. Hey, owner. Set your month variable equal to M. And the mainframe had that variable month, right? So month will get set to whatever M is. Now, what I didn't do here was I didn't tell the owner to also draw it, but the variable is set, right? If you actually wanted to draw it too, I guess I could just quickly write another one here, public void. There we go. So I just added draw month. So I could ask my month picker to also set it and then, hey owner, use your draw month method, All right? Now this is a little frowned upon because I'm fiddling with the owner reference variable, uh, changing it here, right? For this to work, I've had to leave this variable as public access, right? If I change this to private, then this is gonna give me an error here, say no, you can't touch that variable. And I also got to go a little farther and start calling extra methods, right, to draw it. But it works, right? And if you're just a beginner having fun, whatever, this will work and it's easy to do. But 
this is what you should do. You should take an extra uh, extra second or two. Do this ID instead. Okay. What I want to do is I want to write a method in the main frame that's activated when the month has been set on the month picker frame. And so what we mean by this is this thing right here. I've made a variable called month picked. It takes in a string, right, when it's called. And all it does is it sets the month of this frame, obviously to that argument. And text month gets shown a month right in the box. So we see it. Now, once we have this method here, we're going to show you what the difference is and why this is a little bit better. Okay, A, it's a method controlling the setting and the showing, and it's all done in one place. So when I get to my month picker, I can say, hey, owner, call your month picked method, and I'll send you M. So it sends M in. So the owner variable now has full control, right? It can decide based on whatever comes in whether it wants to do it. Is it good info, bad info? It's a little extra layer of protection, right? A little bit more control. The other thing this lets us do is because we're using the method, you can now have this variable's private. And you're going to have lots of your class variables private anyways, right? To hide them in there. And so this works all beautifully. We'll just give it a little test here. Run. Just to prove it's still working with this, select month. I think it's May. No, it's not May. I think it's April right now. Submit. And bam, we're back to the frame here. And April comes back. All right, so it works nicely. Okay. Now, in the next video, if you really, if I mean, that's good enough and that gets you going and it works, right? That's fine. But if you know about interfaces, and it's part of the AP course, so if you're here for AP, I'm going to show you a really good example of interfaces which is sort of the final step on this one, which makes this one really good. Because right now, month picker only works when you have a main frame as the owner, right? This is a main frame reference type, right? And a main frame comes into the constructor. What happens if you have other frames in your class, maybe called birthday frame and events frame? You have a lot of frames. You want them all to work with this month picker frame I just made here. What do you do? Well, that's the next video on interfaces. And we'll just add, change a few lines, and it's going to work for any type of frame you want. Thanks for watching.